I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the Civil War and be rid of the Crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders.
Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make we me We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? 
They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondent. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command! A warning to you both! Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you.
should make sure the village is safe. Radun hage dun za shewe next ti ohnu jera wa kanu dun yo hoe do ga ti ga o ya lungwe a ye zene sege un ka gi ga o ya lungwe de yo ne guje charles lee lu wa na tu kwa ya sa go ya don hawe kanu do gu dano do kala ni hadi na hoda ka nu mo ni ho ne nu wa de sa go di da stana ti ni hadi ayun ki yun hun da Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Oh, no, there are the days that you go hard. Yeah, go talk to the dog hunter. Oh, no, there are the days that you go hard. Yeah, go talk to the dog hunter. Oh, no, there are the days that you go hard. Yeah, go talk to the dog hunter. ガナガナドゴ。だとなげえでも。だぼせたねか。なほだ。ごえごんはクローリネチャールズリー。バトリアットでおなどんぞにあんきあわんと。だのがイーゼアセイエナワーゼ。あそうがティガルンゴエ。
ジュラーサーガーうすごいなせえてオンドクタンギーガモデリオロノディオハオテクエニュンウングエノングエダースンマオーディアタノスタートンゲイワイレアナワンドタインゴヤタノスタートンゲオナワサダレサインジャダロ Position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Connor, my friend, you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our. Glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rides away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami.
are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. 
I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. I know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This is a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he?
Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Меня еще ждет работа. Нет. Герут! Да, я узнал. office is up ahead. Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! You 
You never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Hey. So, uh, when this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could, you know, come home. I'd like nothing more. We're almost there, son. We'll have plenty of time to talk when this is all over. We should focus on our work now. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make... Well, mana. Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction, I hear. Rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. 
we all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Best we finish up with Connor. Come on, Desmond. In you go. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'll listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. Yeah, we should probably get back to work. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs>